Hey besties and thank you so much for joining me in today's video and welcome if you guys are new. My name is Lindsay and over here on this channel we cover all things beauty and today we are doing a request from a few of you which is Lactonic creamy, mouth-watering, addictive perfumes in my perfume collection. So if that sounds interesting to you, definitely keep watching. And if you ever have other requests for videos, leave them down below. Ooh, my contacts are like really fogging up right now. I don't know what's going on with that. Anyways, when I think of Lactonic fragrances, I think whipped cream, I think milk notes, I think praline, and I do think a really, really yummy vanilla typically does accompany all those notes. So, a lot of the fragrances in this video, pretty much all of them, do have those notes, and I do find them just very, very scrumptious and very, very creamy. So, fragrance number one is Fresh Cream from Philosophy. This is your baseline creamy lactonic vanilla scent. I feel like it's vanilla frosting meets whipped cream, like legit whipped cream that you just got all over your skin, and you do have that milky sweetness. You really get that in the scent for sure. I like it. I don't love it. I like to layer it with other fragrances in my collection. That's why I have this itty bitty tiny bottle, but I do like it enough to have some amount of it in my collection, and I feel like if you do like the idea of whipped cream, vanilla frosting, it's a little powdery, maybe like there's marshmallow worked in, I think you'd absolutely love it. The notes are whipped cream, milk, powdery notes, sweet notes, and floral notes. I don't get floral at all in this fragrance. Nothing floral to me. But all the other notes I can definitely understand. And I want to say I got this little bottle from Bell's Outlet for $9.99. Next up is Adig and Voltaire's This Is Her, and wow, I love this. I thought that I would because a lot of you guys told me it smells just like my Fields at Nightfall from Zara, or I guess this smells like Zadig and Voltaire's This Is Her, and you guys could not have been more right. I will say way better projection and performance with this scent and longevity. This one is not as long-lasting, of course, but this is $15, and I want to say I just bought this one on Joma Shop for about 70 bucks. Anyways, I really like this. Number one, I love the packaging. I am a packaging person. This is just gorgeous. I mean, look at that detailing. Beautiful. And it looks how it smells. So it looks milky, kind of like sheer. It smells sheer, lactonic, creamy, very warm and welcoming. I love this so much. It's the type of fragrance you want to put on before bed and just smell comforted. It's very, very sweet and cozy and beautiful. I adore this. It is very sheer and the blend is very like silky smooth. I love this. I feel like if you do like sweet woody fragrances that are not harsh at all, like the wood is done fabulously in the scent. There's cashmere wood and sandalwood and it's just so beautiful you guys it smells like a warm hug if that makes sense so for me this is just a no-brainer absolutely beautiful it does have this delicious creamy praline in the scent that i just adore so much it's such a good scent oh my gosh we have top notes of pink pepper so there is a little bit of spice Silkwood Blossom, Jasmine Sandback, middle notes of whipped cream, vanilla and chestnut, and then base notes of sandalwood and cashmere wood. I love cashmere wood and mixed in with the sandalwood. Oh my gosh. Absolutely phenomenal. Such a staple. Great for every day. It's not too heavy, which I love. Next fragrance a little different. Fragrance number three is Italica from Casamirati. To me, this is very, very sweet. It's rich. It's dense. It's foody. Very gourmand. Very, very, very gourmand. Um, it's very powerful. In the opening, it's almost a little sharp to me. A tad medicinal. There is saffron in the scent, so I believe that's kind of where I'm getting that. But as it dries down, it's so yummy, you guys. You really get that lactonic vibe coming from the milk. There is also, I don't think there's whipped cream. There is a really beautiful almond note in here that you do get. A lot of people say it smells like marzipan, and I can definitely see that. Oh my gosh. It does remind me of vanilla, vanilla, you know, 
from Tom Ford, but to me, this is definitely more powerful. So good. For some people, I do think it's going to be a little too sweet, and I do think it'll be too cloying for some, but to me, I mean, I love that it overpowers me. I think it's beautiful in the colder weather. I would not look at this in the summer heat in Florida. Oh my gosh, because it's just so sweet. The notes are top notes of milk, almond, and saffron, middle notes of toffee, bourbon, vanilla, and base notes of sandalwood and white musk. It's so yummy, so creamy, so dense, so rich. It's just mouth-watering. Mouth-watering. Not going to be for everyone, but if you do like those almondy, nutty scents, I think that you would truly adore this. And I do find that it is a little elevated from that saffron as well. I would not blind buy this, I will say. I blind bought it, uh, but I would not blind buy this if I was you. And really, I don't think I did blind buy it. I think I did smell it briefly in store, but that's really not enough for me unless I have a sample that I bring home and can actually test outside of all the other scents. But I do remember liking it. When I got it, it was a little different. A little different, but really my mouth is like salivating. Fragrance number four is Coffee Break from Replica. I just got a big bottle. I'm super excited. I loved it so much and I felt very limited by the small travel size. Now I can put this one on and I can use the travel when I travel. This though, oh my gosh, it is a very unique, really, really cool girl type of coffee fragrance. It is not... It does have the coffee beans worked in that you do pick up, but there's so much more than that. There's spice, there is an aromatic feel from the lavender, a lactonic milk note just really balancing everything and blending everything so well together. For me, when I smell this, I think of a very cool, edgy downtown coffee shop that I've entered, and it smells amazing, and you get your lavender latte, and you drink it, and the world just stops for a moment. Like, it truly is so such a nice thing drinking your morning coffee your afternoon coffee whatever I find it so beautiful I love I love coffee I really do I do find that it is sexier than a lavender latte I feel like a man or a woman could wear this there's something very very sexy to it as well as calming and comforting but anyway I love this scent I just talked about it briefly in my last coffee video if you guys want to check that out I enjoy this so much it is so unique there's just nothing like it. My favorite blend of a coffee and fragrances. Beautiful, phenomenal, just absolutely divine. And the notes are top notes of pepper, orange blossom, and patchouli, middle notes of lavender, coffee, milk, tonka bean, CM, benzoin, cipriol oil, base notes of vanilla, cedar, and vetiver. And yeah, it's just so good. You guys, you have to get your nose on it if possible. I actually have to go to a lunch right now, but I will be back in a jiffy immediately for you. Few hours for me. Hopefully later we have some sunlight. It's been two hours. I did wear this to my lunch. I put it all over my body. I felt kind of bad because somebody was sensitive to fragrance, but they didn't let everybody else know. So I did have to kind of like scrub off. But before I did, I got compliments on this one. I got told that I smell just nice. You know, they asked um, what I was wearing and where they could find it. So such a gorgeous scent. Fragrance number five is Commodity Milk Bold. There's a commodity milk for everybody. They have a personal, an expressive, and a bold. For me, I really love the expressive too, but I don't have it because it busted. But just know if you do like the expressive, this one is warmer. It's definitely woodier. It's more intense. So if you're somebody that typically doesn't love wood in your fragrances, you're not going to like the bold and maybe you won't even like the expressive because there's definitely a big note of wood in both. But it literally reminds me of sitting around a campfire roasting marshmallows with your loved one. And there's this really beautiful lactonic milk note, like a cold glass of milk note in the fragrance as well. That's really, really creamy, really lactonic and really just blends the wood and the marshmallow in the most beautiful way possible. I love this. I really do. It reminds me of the winter time bundling up in your jacket and being surrounded by people like you love because there is something very cozy to the fragrance for sure. I do find the bold a bit more sexy, a bit more, of course, intense. So if you're looking for something for date nights in the colder weather, this could be it. I really love the incorporation of the amber 
and also the intense wood. The top notes are marshmallow and milk, middle notes of white cedar extract and musk, and base notes of woody notes and amber. So this is something you're going to wear if you do like sweet woody fragrances that do have electronic touch. Fragrance number six is a fun one. This is Oriana from Parfums de Marly and to me this just screams girls night out. It screams paint the town, have fun, out till two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. Don't want to leave the streets. <laughs> I'm just kidding but no seriously. It screams fun time, bright energies, just living in the moment and I love it. One time I went into a car group of about five people and every single one of them wanted to know what I was wearing because it just completely filled up the car, like completely gassed it. If you do like Love Don't Be Shy by Killian but you want something that's not so syrupy sweet, a little more wearable, I think this is great. You still get the orange blossom, the marshmallow, the whipped cream. There's a really beautiful note of raspberry that adds to the girly, flirty quality of the fragrance. There is more citruses that add to the brightness of it. And on the dry down, like the base dry down, you really get that ambrette, which again just makes it so wearable. Everything about this scent I love, and it kind of matches my sweater. Top notes of mandarin orange, bergamot, and grapefruit. Middle notes of orange blossom, raspberry, and black currant. Forgot that one. And base notes of whipped cream, marshmallow, musk, and ambrette, which very gorgeous. Number seven is Ariana Grande's Cloud. So I have Cloud and I have Cloud 2.0. They claim there's no whipped cream in Cloud 2.0, but I just don't believe them. I guess the creamy sweetness is coming from the praline, all right, I guess. But I feel, I feel like they both have whipped cream. Anyways, starting with the original, this one is much more light and airy, and even though it is super sweet, I mean, it does remind me of Baccarat Rouge 540, but definitely sweeter to me. You're getting the coconut, you're getting the praline, notably, and also this really yummy whipped cream. There's also this beautiful note of lavender, which I do pick up on. I don't smell this and think lavender, but I do smell it, and there is something airy, light, fresh, not clean, light, musky, and really beautiful to it. And I guess you do have the wood at the base, just like with Baccarat Rouge 540. But to me, this is just a very beautiful, airy, light, sweet scent that I just crave. Whenever I'm not wearing this, I want to be. Like I, the way that I wear this, I mean, look at the dent compared to my other fragrances. I have a lot of fragrances in my collection and this is definitely something I do gravitate towards a whole bunch, especially because Baccarat Rouge 540 is expensive and to me you're not getting that medicinal smell that you can tend to get in Baccarat Rouge 540 from I think the saffron. I don't really pick that up at all. That one has top notes of lavender, pear, and bergamot, middle notes of whipped cream, praline, coconut, and vanilla orchid, and base notes of musk and woody notes at the base. Fragrance number eight is Ariana Grande's Cloud Pink. Now these are not super different, so I would say run in store, smell both, put them on your skin, see how your skin plays with both, see which one you might like more, because for me, I have to be honest and say, in the opening, there is definitely a twist. You get the fruity, girly vibe, it's really fun, a little tropical, you have pink dragon fruit, berries, really get berries and cream in that opening. There's also, I think, pink pineapple, and you really get the coconut water that is super refreshing in the scent. But oh my goodness, as it dries down completely, for me, it just really does remind me of the original. It's airy, it's sweet. This is creamier with the praline, but again, it's not a super huge difference. It's still a little girlier on the dry down. So again, smell them both, see what you feel. I do enjoy having both in my collection, but I am crazy like that. I love the bottles and I do feel like there is a difference. Is it big enough of a difference? That is gonna depend on you. Top notes are pitaya, wild berries and pineapple. Middle notes are coconut water, vanilla orchid, and ambrette. And base notes are praline, musk, amberwood, and moss. And I do also get the moss. Fragrance number nine is Bianco Latte from Giardini di Toscana. A beautiful musky vanilla. And what I love about this scent the most is the fact that it is very, 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 very great in projection. I put this on, everybody can smell me, everybody compliments me. 
I like it on myself as well, I really do. I find that the Coumarin note was a little challenging for me, to be honest. I got the toffee smell for sure. I got that frothy, sweet, musky vanilla. But the Coumarin, I did find a little different in the scent. And I feel like as you wear it longer and you really see how it smells in the air, it's very, very likable. And I always say that to me, if it was going to be a latte, it would be toffee, nut, syrup, all over a generous amount absolutely gorgeous super easy to wear i give the performance a nine and a half out of ten last time i gave it a nine nine and a half out of ten absolutely gorgeous enormous projection top notes are caramel middle notes are coumarin and honey and base notes are vanilla and white musk which is like a cleaner fresh musk and my final fragrance is Dulce by Rosie Jane, which is very, very, very similar to Bianco Latte, so I did want to mention it. I was going to talk about Kayali's Yum Pistachio Gelato, but I feel like I talk about it so, so much, and because it's so amazing, literally every time I smell this, I just want to eat something sweet. Um, but I wanted to put it on the back burner and talk about Dulce because I don't feel like I do enough. Dulce is a really beautiful musky vanilla as well, but for me, I do find that this one, you really get that vanilla extract, almost like vanilla ice cream kind of vibe. Like, imagine you just got out the shower, right? And I don't know why, but you get like vanilla ice cream on your skin. You have that fresh musk, but then you also have that sweet vanilla all over your skin there is a note of chocolate too but for me i really don't pick that up maybe if you just got out the shower and like your grandma was baking cookies maybe like then i could see cookies but yeah it's just a really beautiful musky vanilla it's very sweet and creamy but there is that really gorgeous musk and this one actually has a note of wood i can't remember what kind i think it starts with an h just know it is a very beautiful musky woody type of vanilla very very comparable to giardini di toscana bianco latte so if you do like the smell of this fragrance but you don't want to spend the money this is very similar but just know it's not going to have the same performance i'm pretty sure Rosie Jane is a clean beauty brand, but that might even be a reason why you would want to get this over Bianco Latte. I don't know. I don't think this one is necessarily as lactonic and creamy and like frothy. I really like this, you guys. Um, but if you want something similar, I just wanted to put it out there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my video on my Lactonic perfumes in my own collection. I would love to know your favorite Lactonic fragrances in your own collection. And of course, as always, your recommendations to me. I love you guys. I don't know why I feel like I've been talking for like eight hours. My throat is just like... I'm gonna make some tea or something. I love you guys. I will see you in the next one and I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. Bye!